guys what is up and welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to be doing a limited income low budget stuffing only bills uh cash stuffing so if y'all have not watched my videos in a bit i did take a couple weeks off um at the very end of december and into the new year for just being with my family for the holidays um, so I did not get paid for two weeks of work and my job pays basically like two weeks behind. So I still have not received like a paycheck from my job. This is cash tips that I have been saving from um, the last week of my vacation as well as like the first, you know, so basically like the first couple weeks of January. So we're only stuffing $445 today and pretty much all of it is going straight to my bills. So that is also why we are at my desk because I did not feel like getting everything out and putting it on the floor and setting it all up for me to just make a super short video. So, okay, I apologize if the tripod is shaky. I am getting used to this but we're just gonna jump right into it. Also, you guys, if y'all have not tried this, this is from Target, and it is the Pear Hibiscus Sparkling Water. It has no sugar in it, no calories, no, like, nothing, and it is so good. It is caffeinated, but it kind of tastes like a Truly to me, but, like, better, but it has no sugar. It is literally the best thing ever. So I've been drinking that lately and I love it. Okay, so we're just going to get right into it, you guys. Like I said, we are mostly stuffing our bills. So we are going to jump right into this. So this is my new bills binder if y'all missed that video. But we're going to be starting with rent and we are going to be adding $100. I really need work to pick up so I can start stuffing my sinking funds again because this really sucks and I wasn't even going to film this video. I was just going to like stuff all this off camera. Also ignore my nail. I broke it. Um, but I wanted to be real with you guys and I know that sometimes it can be discouraging to see people stuff like crazy amounts of money um into all their sinking funds and savings challenges and all that fun stuff and while that is you know it does happen every once in a while it, reality like it's not always like that so i wanted to just be real with you guys and um yeah just keep showing you that you don't always have to stuff um everything so we're just doing our bills today so we have 1, 2, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, and 500. So we need 150 more dollars, which is doable. So that is good. Um, Xfinity, we are going to do $20. And you guys, I did research modems, and I think I found one that I'm going to get. So I need to order it. I think you can get it. Well, I know you can get it on Amazon. So I was researching on the Xfinity website and doing all kinds of research. So I think that is what I'm going to do so I can stop paying $20 a month um, to rent Xfinity's modem. So in Xfinity, we have 20, 40, 60, and $70. So yeah. Also low key, you guys, it is getting harder to sit on the floor. <laughs> So that's another reason why I didn't want to sit on the floor, but mostly because um, I knew this was going to be like a relatively short video. So I was like, eh, I don't really feel like setting everything up over there. So I'll just do it right here. Um, there's like a plastic string right here. Uh, but yeah, it is getting a little harder. I am 20, I'll be 28 weeks this Friday. So that's really crazy to think about. Um, so yeah, really crazy. All right, and I am doing well. Everything's going as planned. I have to start going to the doctor every two weeks now. So I feel like it's getting real. I mean, it's been real, but I feel like it's like super real. Also, okay, that is that glare a little better. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 80, and $100. 
So our electricity bill was a little higher. I think it was 130 this month. So we are almost to the goal. But yeah, so I'm just gonna keep stuffing that one. All right, as far as my car payment, we are going to add $100. And this is going to put us at 1400 So, let's see. We have 1000 in the bank as our reserve in case we cannot make a payment one month. Um, and then we have 100 200 20 40 60 80 300 20 40 60 80 and 400 So, whoops. So we need 100 more dollars, basically. Um, so yeah, okay. Moving on to my car insurance, we're going to add $10. Also, if you guys can hear my dryer, I probably should have turned that off. I didn't even think about that. Um, just ignore that. Okay, I don't have a 10, so I'm just going to add this 20 and then put the 10 back. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, twenty, and seven forty, and this is due in March. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna go turn my dryer off. Is that too loud? I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. I didn't realize that was so loud. All right, medical insurance. We're gonna add fifty dollars, and now we need fifty more to. Um, finish this off. Actually, you know what? I think my medical, I think it went up this year. So I think it might be 350 now. I'm going to have to double check when that goes into effect, but I think it's 350 now. So when I get my next check, I'm going to have to add a little bit more. So 20, 40, 50. All right. So now we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, and 250. Okay, that's good. Next up, we have Stella, and we are going to add $10. I need to get her groomed maybe soon-ish. I don't know when I'm going to schedule that. Oh, I don't have a 10. Okay, I need to make some change. Hold on. Okay, I was able to make a little bit of change, but honestly, not that much because I have not been stuffing my sinking funds. Okay, so we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, and 130 in Stella's envelope, which is plenty to get her groomed, so that'll be good. And then we're going to add 10 into her emergency fund as well. And like I said in previous videos, as soon as I get this to 450, I am going to put a pause on it. Um, yeah, because I we need to focus on other things. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, and 440. So that'll be good. All right, phone bill, we are doing $10. And I will be getting my YouTube paycheck soon, so that'll really help out with my lacking income lately. So, and I did sadness last month, so this is gonna be like $30. This is gonna be like one of my bigger YouTube checks, which I'm really thankful and really excited about. Um, so yeah, that will be coming soon. All right, lastly for this binder's renter's insurance, which is fully funded. We are not going to stuff that. So that's going to do it for this binder. We are not stuffing any, not one single sinking fund, um, which is very sad, like I said, but it is what it is. However, we are going to stuff our New Year's challenge because um, I want to get this done as soon as possible. This is where I broke the change from earlier. I scratched off a 10 today. So now we are at 20, 30, and $35 for our New Year's challenge. So that's very exciting. I don't know how much that's gonna be in the end, but I am excited to find out. So like I said, we are not stuffing anything else in my sinking funds. 
which makes me very sad, but that's all right. All right, moving on, we are gonna do my cash envelopes, which there's like literally nothing left in these, I don't think. Okay, there's $5 left in eating out. So I'm gonna put this in my um, rollover envelope, which I keep in my savings challenge binder. So we'll put this in here. You know what? I might need to break a 20 with this. Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind. Okay, so let's see. Put this away. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna need some smaller bills. All right, before I do that, I know that I'm gonna be stuffing my one month ahead challenge, or I don't know why I said that, my getting ahead on bills savings challenge, and we're only putting $20 in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in here. Um, and then I think all of this other money is going to my cash envelopes, so we'll just see what we can do. All right, so there's that one. So I budgeted out 50, 60, 70, $85 for my cash envelopes. So if this is 85, 20, 40, 60, 85, I'll just put this, I'll just, you know, it is what it is. I'll just divvy them up. So I'll put 60 in food and then my personal and my eating out kind of go hand in hand. Um, I'll just do, and I'm budgeted 10 for gas. I'm just going to put it all in one of them and then we'll just figure it out. So, cause I only meant to put 50 in food and then, um, or 50 in groceries, but I put 60, so it'll all work out. I will just go into these categories whenever I need to and, um, it'll be good. So I was only going to put $10 in my gas envelope, $50 in food. Um, 10 in personal and 10 in eating out, but it is what it is. I will just go in these as I need them and hopefully we have some money left over next week because I spent basically all the money this week. So that is that. And because this video is shorter, I have all of these um, $1 bills that I have been saving up for our baby, these are all of the L bucks that I've been saving from work. So all of these have a letter L on them, which if you're unfamiliar, basically the letter tells you like where it was made. And um, our last name starts with an L. Well, mine hopefully soon will start with an L, but my boyfriend's and our baby's last names will be an L. So I've been saving these up for our baby. So what I decided to do was um, I'm going to add them to our baby's binder, which I have this binder that I made for our baby and I have yet to label these envelopes, but they will be labeled, but um, Kristen over at Intentional Living actually sent me this envelope and i don't know if i'm going to use the dividers as of yet but she did put these dividers oh sorry she did put these dividers in here and some placeholders which is so adorable um and she sent a two dollar bill which i'm gonna put this somewhere in a second but she sent this envelope and i thought this would be perfect for the l bucks so i think i'm gonna stick this in here and it says baby saves like i literally can't handle it Okay, so we will count these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, and twenty-two dollars I have saved over the past like week and a half for our baby. So I'm gonna stick these in here and I think I'm going to keep the L bucks in here. So I think that is really cute. I love how it says baby saves on it. I think that is so adorable. Um, I need to use my Cricut and put the categories on here because I think I know generally what categories I'm going to be adding in here for him. So 
But yeah, this is the binder for him if you guys missed that video. Uh, these are just trackers that I printed out along with other trackers that I made. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, I do have some money that I've been... I got a couple custom orders recently, so I have $20, $40, $60, that I've, I'm going to stuff in this binder um, whenever I get my labels made, but for now, I've just been kind of saving it in my wallet, um, but yeah, we have, I think, what did I say, $22 so far, so I am super happy with that. Okay, and then I think I'm going to put this $2 bill in here let me see okay so in my savings challenge book i have an envelope where i keep old bills so right here i have this envelope and i have this old 50 i mean not 50 this old 20 this five um two dollar bills and then these silver note ones and i've gotten all of these from work i've just saved them um, so I think I'm going to add this two in here from Kristen and look how cute. Okay. So 55, um, 57, 59, 61, 63, 64, 65, 66. So $66 in, wait, what? What? 20, 25, 27, 29, 31, 33, 34, 35, 36. Okay, girl. Why do I keep thinking this is a 50? I don't know. Okay. Anyways, I don't think I'm going to ever spend this money. I just like to keep it because I think it's cool. And that's a good place for it. So that is that. All right, my friends. I think that is going to wrap up this video. I know it was kind of all over the place and I didn't stuff like a ton of money, but it is what it is. We are keeping it real over here and sometimes you just can't stuff it all. So I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you all for your continued support and your sweet comments. And if you've purchased anything for us and our baby, we love you guys so freaking much and are so thankful. Um, links to everything will be in the description box. I love you guys so much and I will see you very soon. Bye guys. Bye.